going on YouTube? It's your boy Bobby Chippin, and I'm back with another reaction video. Now, listen, man, today we got Child Services takes daughter away from dad. What happens next is shocking, bro. Let's just get straight Please. into this one. I don't want to do too know. much talking. Get straight to the action. But Don Maxwell. Please don't leave me, no. Please hey. don't. Was she having Hazel. bad dreams? Hazel. Hazel, it's okay. Is this a dream? Yeah, Papa's here. Make sure my mic good and everything like that. Um, don't worry about it. I'll wait. Hold on. Your... What? Wait. What is that? Oh, she peed the bed. Oh. Um, don't worry about it. I'll take care of everything. Just go, Dad. Please go, Dad. So she don't fuck with her dad. It's soaked through the mattress, your grits. Or if it if it's soaked like through the sheets onto the actual mattress itself, your shit's gonna smell like pee. Have y'all ever, bro? I already know a couple of y'all done already pissed the bed, bro. Some of y'all still do. But y'all ain't gonna go into the comments and say nothing. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna be too scared to admit it. Pee? <laughs> what? Hey Hazel. Did you know you smell like pee? <laughs> Quiet. What the hell? Maybe that's why your mom left. She couldn't stand the stench. What, what the fuck? All right, yo. Why is she actually going in on her for no fucking reason? Guys. Guys, guys, guys. Watch. Bro, dog, you're doing way too fucking much. You're doing way too much, first off. How the hell is she whispering right behind your back? Everyone in the classroom can hear except for you. How? How you, bro, how you just gonna let your op whisper behind, loud whisper behind your back? Everyone hears but you. That's on you for not turning around. But the fact that the girl's actually about to do this, like, what the fuck? What type of high school what musical ass prank here? is this? Riley, did you pour your water on her? She needed a bath. I was just trying to help. Bro, oh my god. No, nah, that no, nah, she tried the fuck out of her. That is that is actually tough as fuck. Wipe that smile off your face. You'll be spending the day in detention. Wow. <laughs> what type of lunch? That lunch looked depressing as hell. Debbie got regular Cheetos, not even the hot ones. A sandwich. What the fuck? She's stealing? Hazel. That's funny as fuck, bro. She did that shit right in front of the fucking teacher. <laughs> and she's trying to act like. <laughs> she's trying to act like ain't no one seen her. Come on, bro. Ew. Bean straight out the can, my guy. She like being around mine. She teed up. She not switching. Your school call today. G6 got me in here glitching. You seem really worried, you know. This bitch ain't got no vision. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to her. her. food? Hazel. I was hungry. What do you want me to do? I Don't know. even blame her, bro. I'm sorry that I didn't put credits into your account. I mean, dog, y'all eating, de y'all dead ass eating, y'all sharing a can of beans for dinner. I mean, shit. Credits going into her lunch you know, account is the worst thing you or is probably one of the best. last things you should worry Just for about. For a little while, that you live with someone else. I don't know who, but anywhere's got to be better than this. What? You trying to get rid of me? Oh no, Hazel, honey, no, I would never. You know that I love you so much. It's just like. I just think it would be a better idea if I yeah. wait to get a full time job so I could be in a better position to provide for you. True. Great. 
Another parent who doesn't want me. Hey, that is not true, Hazel. And for the record, your Wait, mom another had parent? nothing to do with you. Look, we were young and we were struggling when we had you. That's why y'all gotta wear protection, bro. Your mom. Don't be going into anything, just. But you feel me? Had anything to do Make sure y'all think. Yeah, right. Just go ahead and shit me off and get it over with. Hey. Damn, bro. Feel the dad though, like he's struggling. He don't. He feels bad that she has to eat beans for dinner, bro. Like just beans is diabolical. Straight out the can, no cooking. That yeah, nah, can't be doing none of that, bro. At all. What? Man, if you don't get your ass back in bed. Mommy? What the hell? What, what's she doing? I'm so sorry, honey. So sorry. Oh, she's packing Mommy, her bag. Where are you going? Oh, my God. I don't know. She's even going to hug her daughter? You're not even going to hug your daughter? Yo, my God. She went to bed again. <laughs> oh, bro, that's tough. Listen, bro. If anyone watching this video ever has something like that happen where, like, your parent walked out on you or just like, just like, just like, just like any, anything in that nature, like your parents get a divorce, I feel for you, man. I really do feel for you because my parents actually, like, they were never married. They just got separated and that that shit like it kind of it, it kind of stung in the moment but you feel me my dad ended up moving not that far so i was still able to see him and my parents are still on good terms too bro but i know i know that shit gets a lot worse i know parents hate each other the child wants to see both of them but they can't put that shit to the side for their for their kid man i know trust me i, I know shit gets treacherous man Kyle Thompson? Kyle? I'm Andrea, a caseworker with Child Protective Services. Is it okay if I talk to you for a minute? Sure. I'm here because it was brought to my attention that your daughter Hazel has been stealing food from school. Does she not have enough nah. to eat? Yeah. yeah, she does. Are you employed, Mr. Thompson? If it's all right with you, I'd like to come in and ask Hazel a few questions. Oh! Actually, um, right now is not a good time. I understand. I'll try to come back another time then. <sighs> Damn. Damn. What do you even do? What do you even do? Aunt Angel? Whoa, hold on. I just realized, bro, that's an old-ass fucking iPhone. That's like, that's like iPhone, that's gotta be like iPhone 2, right? iPhone 3? Because I remember the 4 was like, it was like the little square one. My dad had that shit, bro. Oh my god. And then I had the iPad or the iPod that kind of looks just like it. With like the silver back. Oh my god. I used to do everything with that iPod, bro. Used to take that shit everywhere. Remember them There's old no SoundCloud days? Oh my goodness. You're gonna have to go live with my Aunt Angel for a while. It's just temporary until I figure some things out. No way, I told you I don't wanna live anywhere else. I wanna live here with you. I can't even live here anymore. We got an eviction notice this morning. He's gonna be homeless? Why don't you just live we'll with the aunt the too? Then I'll sleep in the car too. Doesn't matter. Just nah, bro. It's two people living in a car is crazy, bro. This morning. If they find out that you're living in a car, they'll take you away from me. Well, I mean, why don't... I mean, I don't know. I know this is hard. But I promise that I'm going to come back for you. I promise. I know that shit is scary, too. Just, just being just separated your with your parents, bro. Just, bro. Thank you, bro. I just want to say thank you to my parents real quick, bro, because 
if they bro if i was ever in this situation i don't know i listen i don't know if i would make it i like honestly i really don't hey like being ha like having to live with other other people and shit just ah She's mad, mad. She better go. Bro, that big ass fucking house. Bro, you trying to tell me you didn't want to live there? So your Aunt Angel, she used to be married to my Uncle Joe, who passed away. Right. We were never really close, you know. She really distanced herself from the family after going through something traumatic. Traumatic? What happened to her? An angel, so good to see you. Damn, she's way this older than daughter, I expected. Hazel, the, the one I've been telling you about. I'll uh, leave you two alone to say your goodbyes. Damn, man. It's crazy because there's going to be like a whole new dynamic, bro. Like, this dude barely even knows soon, his aunt, okay? uh, the aunt. I love you so much. Well, I, I hate you. That was that was one sort of goodbye. I mean, I get I guess the living conditions are gonna be better. The house is nicer. Um, obviously more space. She's probably gonna have more privacy. Uh, she's been the most important thing, bro. She gonna have food on the table. She she's gonna have food on the table. I mean, overall, this You're is a way better situation. I just know that feeling like she, she's not familiar with this with this environment and it's gonna take a lot of time to get used to. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, this one's off limits. Yours is at the end of the hall to the left. I wonder why that one's off limits. Can we see? Oh, that's probably um her husband's room. room. The fuck? From what I can see so far, it's not that bad. You can uh, put your clothes in the dresser there. Are those all the clothes you brought? Those are all the clothes he has. What you about to do, little bro? What's this? I think they'll fit you. Some of her old Thanks. clothes? Whose are these? Oh. Oh, shit. Uh, bro, so you didn't, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> All right, no great shit. My, my fault for life and my fault for life. I can't say serious, but. You literally got those clothes, looked at them, thought about the person that they used to belong to, and then was like, oh yeah, I, I, I could give these to her, gave them to her, had no reaction at all, and then just started crying when she asked the question, bro, how the fuck you ain't start crying before that? Or maybe she lost a child, yeah, she probably lost a child, not... <laughs> The traumatic experience isn't the the husband. That's the um, probably her child. No, bro. What the fuck? This, is she shitting from the front? That's gotta be like, bro. That's gotta be blood, bro. Or maybe, or maybe just her sweatpants are dirty. These straight brown stains, bro. Shitting out the front's crazy. Oh, she got a knee, uh, Mercedes key. Yeah, she whip a Mercedes for sure. Good morning. Would you like some breakfast? I have uh, oatmeal, uh, turkey bacon, eggs. Do you have pancakes? Eggs? Oh. I uh, pancakes. Yes. Um, 
chocolate chip pancakes. I I don't have so chocolate nervous. chips, but I could run to the store. Oh, that's okay. Plain is fine. Thank you. Well, no, no, it's okay. Uh, the store is only a few minutes away. Really, it's no big deal. I promise. Uh, She's I, acting real weird. I have time. He acting real weird, bro. You know what I think it is? I think she's just lonely. I think that's really what it is. Because she lost her husband. We think that she lost a child. Or, or someone near and dear to her heart. And I think she's just scared of losing, of, of losing her now. Type shit. Because I don't like you feel me like when whenever whenever I'm at home I'm always like with either my mom or my dad so I don't know what that true feeling of being alone for an extended period of time feels like. But you could tell when someone want just wants company, someone just wants someone to talk to. Ooh, that's a beautiful. Hey, oh gee. What's up, Auntie? Wait, what did he say? He said he had a job interview? Hey, honey, just checking in. I had a job interview today, and it went well. Love you and miss you. How are you? Oh, come on, man. You better, bro, you better respond to Maxwell. You better. Did all her laundry, everything, new clothes and shit. And change the sheets. Just grabbing it with her bare hands, bro. Ew! What if you touch the pee? I also wet the bed. Oh. Until an embarrassingly old age. No lie, you to still do. Honest, sometimes I still do. <laughs> Yo. So there's nothing for you to worry about. Come on, okay? bro. I knew you. I knew. Come on, man. Thanks for the new clothes and for letting me stay here. You're most welcome, dear. Damn, I'm not gonna lie, it's going way better than I, I thought. I thought she was gonna be like both of us. Like a bitch for real. But you have like a bitchy thinking, attitude, but let's make the most of the time we have together. I'd like that very much. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we got we got a little you music montage. Hey, yo, whoa! That's not, I, I ain't even gonna say nothing. I don't, don't want to get caught. I don't want to get caught. I, I don't want to get caught. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. I ain't saying nothing though. Watch the northern lights flash. Took a photograph on a Paris street. Have you ever climbed? Then so she got the chocolate, the chocolate um tips. It's just something about pancakes and milk. That's one of the best, like, combinations, drinking food. Hey. Hey. Stupid ass. Yeah, make your own pancakes, man. Hey, hey, flip that, man. Now she's low key whipping. What's this? Oh. For some reason, I thought it was like a new crib. Just her room, bro. Damn, not even answering. It's not even his fault, bro. Like. Well, I mean, it is his fault, technically, but. He didn't throw you out because. He didn't want you. He threw you out because he wanted you to actually have food to eat. Alright, there's no way they're laughing that hard at a Dark Man video. But you about to cry? Say something, man. Put the bed again? Nah, no, right? Because she's happy. Yeah, she's happy. She's not worried. Hey, man, a win is a win. 
Now she's having the best time with the aunt, babe. Guess what? No accidents. Oh, wow, really? That is great, sweetie. I'm so proud of you. So should I make you some pancakes? Again? Yeah, that'd be great. <sighs> now she's really happy too now. Oh no. No chocolate chips? I forgot. We just ran out of chocolate chips. I guess you're gonna go to the store, right, huh? The store. Yeah. I promise I won't be long. No, no, honestly. I'm yeah, with that Mercedes. Just regular pancakes are good. Oh, it's really no big deal, you know? Just give me a minute, Lily. Uh, mm. uh, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm sorry. Lily. I, I, I need a Lily, minute. Lily, Lily. What are you doing here? I'm here to pick you up. I, I got a job in an office. We got our apartment back. Oh, in the office? So we can go home now. You don't get to pick and choose when you want me in your life. Oh. I'll come back when I feel like it. Hey, no, we. This Woody. I love you. I, I don't. I want the best for you. Everything. Well, I still hate you. Oh my God. One of the worst feelings as a parent, I imagine, is your kid telling them that they hate you and like actually meaning it. You know, when they're little, they just be saying whatever, but like when they're grown and they can actually speak for themselves, like make decisions for themselves, that shit gotta hurt. A lot. That's Lily room, Lily Lily. Damn, man. Lily. Oh, that damn. That's the same shirt that uh, Shadi gave her. She was 16 in that photo. I'm so sorry. I know you said this room was off limits. It's OK. Really. I'm sorry about all that earlier. You being here has stirred up a lot of emotion. Is that Lily? In the photo? Yes. Do you mind me asking what happened? Oh. Why would you even ask, bro? She was my whole world. And then my whole world came crashing down. You see, I was a good mom. A busy mom, but I always made time for Lily the best I could. Mm -hmm. Oh, good morning, honey. Look, we made your pancakes. Why are they spoiling? What do you mean? Oh. Where are the chocolate chips? She loved pancakes just like you. But that morning I was in a rush and forgot to add chocolate <laughs> chips. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I what the fuck? Yo. No, remake them. She asked me if I'd remake them, but I just didn't have time. Remake so them. Motherfucker, what? Remake them. Listen. If I would have told my mom that, she would have slapped me across the face and she would have just told me to put the chocolate chips on top. It's Do not even that big of a deal. I'm made. pretty sure it makes no, no difference. We had an argument. I told her she was ungrateful. You're ungrateful. And she called me a bad mom. Uh. All it's this so over some fucking that something pancakes. So small turned into something so big. She stormed out. Hey, Lily. I didn't want her to leave like that, so before she left, I stopped her. Hey, Lily, look, I'm sorry. I love you, okay? I hate you. Oh. <laughs> Those are the last words Damn. Lily ever said Damn. to me. Lily? She never made it back from school. Ah, shit. She was riding her bike and in his car, just 
So she died while they were on bad terms. Oh my God, that's, I know that shit. Shit. Damn. 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 Oh, so, so you see, Hazel. Oh my we'll God. Our difference is with those we love. But it's important to remember that tomorrow isn't promised to anyone. So we should tell people we love that we love them today. I still can't get over the, the last words Lily ever said to me was that she hated me. <laughs> oh, I like your shirt. Damn. Thanks. It reminds me of a former student of mine. Oh, what shit. What's her name? Lily. Lily Thompson. That's it. I didn't know they went mm. to the same school. She used to like to wear an orange lily in her hair every day. She was a, a great little, student. Uh, excessive, but that's no drip at all. So sad would wind up happening to her. Miss Davis, uh, this may sound crazy, but I think Lily and I were related. Really? I'm actually staying with her mom, and she just told me the story. Oh, dear. I can't imagine what she went through. It seems that her and Lily were really close. I still think about the letter that Lily wrote to her mom on the day she passed on. Letter? What did it say? I can show it to you if you like. you will have it? Oh, here it is. I didn't have the heart to throw it out. Yeah, she had that shit sitting in the vault. Did you ever show this to Lily's mom? I figured it would make her a lot sadder. Ah. I didn't. Can you tell me what else happened that day? Okay, everyone. She, Today I want to that try was something her. a little different. Today, I want each of you to write down one thing you're grateful for. Said it was young. Time. Go ahead. She's gonna put her mom. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna be different. Be different, Dan. Be Lily? different. Can't think of anything you're grateful for? Hell nah. Can think of someone I'm not grateful for, that's for sure. Okay, and who's that? My mom? What? She knows that I love chocolate chip pancakes, but for whatever reason, she decided to make them, like, plain this <laughs> morning. Like, and then when I bro. asked her to remake them, she Come said Come on, no. man. Like, when you say no it like that... It's just so annoying. At least your mom cooks you breakfast. I wish mine did. Mm. Same. My mom never has any time for me. I always have to make it myself. You're lucky. Hmm, that stink look was kind of crazy, though. Guess I hadn't thought of it that way before. Yeah, well, now it sounds like you found something to be grateful for. I am grateful for my mom. She's my best friend, and she does so much for me. I feel super bad that I told her I hate her this morning. But I just want her to know I love her very much. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Thank you, Hazel. You have no idea how much closure this gives me. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I just got your text. Is everything okay? Hmm. I am so sorry that I said I hated you. I want you to know that I love you so much, Dad. I love you so much, honey. I love you so much, honey. There you go, man. Wholesome content for the day. This world is so negative. Just to sit here and watch a Dar Man video filled with all this positivity makes me happy, bruh. But yeah, um. Like. 
back when Kobe died, I don't know if y'all know uh, Jay Williams. He used to play. I forgot what college he used to play at. He was a beast, had an injury, so then he was never really the same when he was in the NBA. But um, the day, I can't remember if it was the exact day Kobe died or like a couple days after or whatever, but he went on um on live TV and he said something along the lines of, if you have some bad blood with somebody, if you have like some beef with somebody that you really shouldn't, you know, someone that's close to you, just make sure to, you feel me, just make those wrongs right. Because you never know, like, as we saw in the video, you never know what's going to happen. You could lose somebody just like out of nowhere. One minute they're here, like, like bro, literally right now, bro, where I'm at, it's 8.51. When 852 come around, someone's bro, some someone that I know could have passed away. So with that, like with just keeping that in mind, bro, just make sure if you have a parent or a brother, sister, family member, whatever the case may be, and you you've had some good history with them, just make sure that they know that you love them. And uh yeah. That's all I got to say, man. If you guys want to follow me on more platforms for more content, make sure you guys go ahead, visit my description. Got four links in there. All that being said, though, make sure you respect your mom, my man. Peace.